Let's speak, speak to, yeah, to another issue, a uh, matter that, of course, is very important, uh, is, is the election in Kogi State. And the situation in that state is perhaps one state that you need to look out for in the elections of November the 11th. And, of course, tonight we'll be focusing on Kogi State and some of the development. I'm being joined tonight by a former member of the House of Representatives, uh, Honorable Ima Egu. Thank you so much indeed for joining us tonight. Thank you, Chair. Why is Kogi State a tough chew? I mean... Considering things are happening in Imo and in Bielsa State, but it does look like Kogi State is one to look out for. You know, Kogi is endowed with a lot of resources, individually, and talk of res natural resources like uh, minerals and so on, and endowed with a lot of riches and wealth. So there's likelihood that there will be serious competition for elections. Mm. I know democracy as it is, is the government of the people, by the people and for the people, in line with Abraham Lincoln. So definitely, because of the competitive nature of the resources in Kogi State, there's likelihood for... I mean, you've been around, uh, you've run for election, you've held offices, and I mean, this is perhaps the first time you see this kind of competition for governorship of Kogi State. We've had two candidates who are very strong, and that has happened, uh, I mean, since 1999 in Kogi State, we've seen very strong uh, two candidates in, uh, in Kogi State. But now, we've seen more than two. And uh, those who will say APC will find uh, have a tough time this time around, what do you think? I think uh, APC is in a comfort zone, as far as I'm concerned. I was in PDP, I was the secretary of the party, Kogi State of PDP. And in all to all intents and purposes, I've been able to discern that APC is a leading factor of the party as far as election is coming, that is coming up. No, no, Forget I mean, about the they, noise. You yesterday, maybe, for example, uh, the uh, Senator-elect uh, Natasha Akpoti uh, mm -hmm. saying, uh, um, won the uh, case at the appeal court. That those who say, look, in that senatorial district, for example, that is a plus for the PDP. And that those who say, uh, Muritala uh, Ajaka of the NCP is a threat for the APC. So someone who understands, who is being in the APC and understands the party very well, that your party is going to have a stiff competition. Well, by my understanding and by my assessment, I am from Kogi East. I'm, an, I'm a born Igala man, and uh, I know very well that the structure of APC in Kogi East is sound. From the unis to the lo to the world to the local government, APC have these structures, which of course SDP does not have. So statistically, you will be able to discern what is on ground. I mean, for, so for that election, for, Kogi, for, for, for example, Kogi Central, that court case, you don't think it's, a, it's going to throw the spanner in the works of the, uh, the at, of at Natasha's victory in the, at, the, at the Senate? Mm -hmm. by, my, by what I know about Igbera politics, the, the, the Central voted for Natasha, yes, so let me assume by the court ruling that they voted for Natasha. But I want to tell you that the same people that voted for Natasha, you don't expect them likely to vote for another party when it now comes to gubernatorial. Honorable, Hon 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 those who are of uh, the argument, uh, those who think that um, Yaya Bello is from that particular part of Kogi State, and Ododo also from that uh, yes. the region of, of the state, isn't that a minus when you're going to campaign considering? The two other senatorial districts would think, rightfully, it should come to this side. You know, in party politics, when a candidate emerges, ordinarily, every member will have to fall in. And you have to equally consider the national politics. The natural, national policy tend to favor APC. Some of us that have come to join APC, it's because we want to bring dividends of democracy to our people. We don't want to deceive them. We don't want to distract the good things that will come to, the, for, to our place to, to be diverted to another place. So we have no option than to support tenable administration as it is now because you cannot change 
the government of APC. You think the national level. politics will help? Of course, those it, it will influence. How? Yes, because there are many people, myself and my followers, for instance, I'm, let me go individual this time around. We went into APC because we realized that we must play the politics of center. The center, the central politics now. Even if it's against the interest of the local people in your state, my people want what the people want is development. What my people want is dividends of democracy. I don't say anything. Kogi state, from Kogi East and Kogi West and Kogi Central. I'm telling you this. Are there visible dividends of democracy in Kogi state? Can you tell? Because a lot of your uh, people in your area are watching right now. Yes. Can you confidently tell them? that there are visible dividends of democracy in your area? Yes. How? Can you mention? I'm from Ida, for instance. Mm -hmm. The road from Ida to Ayangba Junction, that is Ogidi Beji, have been so dilapidated for a very long time that it may take you almost three hours to move from Ida to a short distance of Ogidi Beji Junction, that's Ayangba Junction. But... As a matter of fact, Yara Bello, I put it in place that you can use less than one hour to move from there to Ayangba Junction to start with. I want to equally inform you what will attract development is what you can generate. Do you know Kogi State is now a, an oil producing state? You need revenue that will come. Automatically, if these resources are properly utilized, it will develop the, the producing local government, it will develop the Igala land, For example, and it will develop you are the states. political leader in your area. Yes. What would you be telling them about APC? How do you convince them that they should vote for the APC? Yes, what I'm telling my people is that let us work with the, with the, the party at the center. Is that what you are telling them? Yes, that's what you I'm telling You are not pointing them to the performance of the Ayabelo and the APC government, are you able to tell them anything? Are they, are they, are they convinced about your, uh, your campaign to them, about the performance of the government that you said they should so realize? The assessment is left for the public. The, and that's what I'm asking you. What are you telling your people? My assessment of the APC government in Kogi State, to the best of my knowledge, is fair. It's okay because of the available resources. Development is... Is in line with the resources that you have been able to generate. You cannot develop beyond the resources that is available to you. If there is a surprise, uh, if there's, if there's a surprise in this election, where do you think it will come from? Surprise from where, sir? In terms of the votes, there's been surprise in this election. In the from my own statistical assessment mm -hmm. and from my extrapolation, I don't see why APC will not win this coming election. I have sat down to do my statistical analysis, extrapolated. And I've come to a conclusion that the APC will win. How? Where, you do, can, where are I, the areas you think the APC will win? APC will win in all the senatorial districts in Kogi State. Even when you... When Chewun, by when by, by, by November you 11, 12, you start counting on what I'm telling you. Forget about what the noise people are making on Facebook. I We just had, three, three days ago, we had Elders Council meeting of APC from Kogi East. And from the reports that we have been able to generate from all the polling units, all the wards, and all the local government, it was very, very clear. Because politics is local. It's not, being, it's not as manifested on Facebook and whatever as you may be reading. I am just coming from home yesterday. We had this meeting three days ago at Ejule in Kogi State. And it was a robust discussion and robust report. I'm just telling you my what, you, the report you, you, from Kogi East. You quite answer you my question and like us to anchor on that point. Okay. Uh, there were surprises in the 2023 election. We had governors who lost their senatorial district elections. We had even the, pres the sitting president lost his election in his home state of Lagos. State. Mm. These are surprises. He never thought that he could lose Lagos. And I'm asking you, if there are going to be surprises, where do you think they could come from? I still want to assure you. It's not something that you are assuring. I want to assure Nigeria. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to assure Nigeria. Because uh, yes. what the analysis and the political extrapolation 
on the ground is different from your own extrapolation. And I'm wondering mm -hmm. where you've gotten your own statistics for those who are analyzing and saying these are the strength areas of the PD, uh, PDP, these are the strength areas you know, of the APC, and this is what the SDP, uh, so, so, and the rest, this is what they are bringing so, to do, you, do you know parties is local? Absolutely. I'm giving a local report. Of your own area. Wait, do, you, do you think you can have more uh, extrapolation than I do based on my own local reports? I'm giving you a statistical report from the local. Uh, Honorable Ima Egu, uh, I'll leave you with your extrapolation. Yes. <laughs> but it's for the people of Kogi State yes. to decide. And yes. they will do that. As well yes. as the people of Imo State and Bayel State yes. on the 11th of November. But well, what you need to know and tell your people is that government and politics should be about the people and how you benefit them. If that is lost, this is all a waste of time. But I wish you the very best. Thank you so much, Indy, for coming to another program.